Hey everyone, it's Chelsea and welcome back to my channel. In case you're wondering why I look like a bum, go check out my previous video, which should be the uppercase unboxing video because these were filmed back to back and it's been quite a morning at my house. There was some, some excitement to wake up to. So go check that video out if you are curious as to why I am literally just in a hoodie and just got home from work and it's raining so I'm looking quite bedraggled. I feel like I just filmed one of these I guess time's just going really, really fast this month, but I feel like I literally just did this. But without further ado, let's get into this. This is a very rattly one. Like, I feel like there's gonna be like Skittles or something loose in here. Am I the only person who thinks things like that? Probably. Oh, that's exciting. Okay, this theme is dystopian, I believe, which is kind of good timing because I feel like the whole dystopian genre has like worn itself out and everybody got so sick of it after like the Hunger Games and everything happened and it's wound down quite a bit and I feel like now I'm just starting to appreciate it again that it's not as like in your face anymore. So I feel like this is fairly good timing. But this month's card is um, adorable. It looks very, oh, there's cool, there's like reading quote thing. Okay, this is just what it looks like. You can just like take a look, see for yourself. I'm trying to avoid staring at the back. So I'm just gonna go for it this month. I just dropped that on my cat. I didn't know she was standing at my feet. Now I feel really bad. Mm, I'm sorry, Willow. Okay, well, she's eating them now, so hold on. I need to, like, clean up all the little squiggly pieces. Okay, the cat is less squiggly paper covered now. Situation under control. So anyway, this is the first thing that I'm pulling out of the box. It's a little pouch. Um, and I see a Mockingjay already. So I'm gonna say this is Hunger Games themed. So, little pouch. There's a little card. Oh, this is really, really cute. I actually will wear this. This is really cute. Okay, so, well, this is how my morning's going. Hold on. After I threw it on the ground, this is what it looks like. Um, it's a little bracelet that has the Mockingjay on it. Let me take it out of the pouch. So it's one of those little like wrap bracelets where it's like a whole bunch of like individual bands. I actually really like this and it has a really cool clasp in the back which is good because I have teeny tiny wrists and I have to wear bracelets like as tight as they will possibly go. And this is by the Geeky Cauldron which has worked with Alcrate before I believe and I really like their stuff because I mean well first of all that's like the best shop name ever for a book merch type thing and there's a little coupon code so that is the first item and the next thing that I'm pulling out I really like how it feels it feels very neat um I am guessing that this is a coaster because there's like cork on the back and it's adorable it's like a little tiny coaster that says I spent my life folded between the pages of books and it is gorgeous and it's very velvety. You know that like velvet book cover feel that's very popular right now? That's what this feels like. And I just want to keep touching it. So I am scared to put drinks on this, but I really like it. The next thing that is in there is one of these little notebooks that says George Orwell 1984. Um, I'm starting to try and figure out what to do with these because I feel like subscription boxes give little things like this all the time. And I've just been like accumulating them. And I never know what to do with like little tiny notebooks like this. This has a little pouch in the back. That's like high tech for one of these little, little guys. But um, if you guys have any ideas of like what I should use these for, maybe I could use them for like recipes or something. I don't know, but leave it in the comments if you have any recommendations. And the next thing that is in there is I really like these. Um, this is a very familiar looking um, thing. Yep, because it's from Half-Blood Prince. Um, I believe I've gotten stuff from them before. This is a little Katniss magnet. And I really like really minimal... What's the word? Minimalistic? Minimalist? Minimal stuff? Um, things like this, where you can just recognize who it is without any, like, really defining features. But yeah, this is by Half-Blood Prince, which is, again, one of the best fandom merch names for a shop ever. That's great. So... That's cool. And the next thing is, what is this? I think this is like an iron-on transfer or decal type thing, but it says property of Wicked and it has a barcode on it. Um, I, okay, I know that not everybody likes the Maze Runner series. I loved it. I actually, it's up there with the Hunger Games in my book. So I really liked it. 
just just say it that's all i gotta say about it but this is this is from it that's what wicked is from yeah so this is a vinyl transfer what should i put this on hmm again if you have any recommendations of what to put this on because i actually i actually do really like this which is kind of strange for me normally i don't normally use stuff like this and i feel like i should put it on something because my boyfriend also read the maze runner series and liked it so i feel like we should put this on something in our house but if you have any recommendations of what to put this on let me know the next thing that's in there is a blurby quote thing um, and this is by a book that I am so excited. It's coming out this month, or I believe it already came out, but it's from the Star Touch Queen, and I cannot wait to get my hands on this. Um, judging by the book that's in there, this is not the book that's in here, but the quote is, The stars filled with cold light and secrets held no emotion in their fixed language of fate. Emotion belonged to life, a thing the stars could never experience. I, not the starlight, shaped my decisions. The Star Touch Queen. And then it has information about the book on the back. I like these. I'm gonna have just like quotes all over my house at this point because I have so many now. But this is exciting. I'm looking forward to reading this book. And the last thing that is in the box is the book, which is not that one, but it's flawed and I'm pretty pumped for this. This is by Cecilia Ahern. Um, and I am really excited. Let me take it out of the bag and talk about it. Hold on. Okay, so this is what it looks like. And I have been wanting to get my hands on this book for so long just because I've seen pictures of it online and I could not for the life of me figure out how the cover worked because it's like, okay, so this is the dust jacket. That's it. And then there's like a legitimate cover underneath and the dust jacket is just, oh, look at the back. That's pretty cool. The dust jacket is just like this like waxy looking clear sheet. And the tagline on the back is, I can't be flawed, I can't be flawed, I am perfect. So that sounds intriguing. Um, I know obviously this theme is dystopian, so this is clearly a dystopian book. I believe this is set in a society where everybody tries to lead a perfect life. And I'm assuming, of course, the main character is probably a girl who something happens to her that causes her to be flawed. So I'm looking forward to this. I've been kind of getting back into dystopian reads, so hopefully it'll kind of spark my interest. And along with it, you have a little um, piece of paper with a cover on it, so like a little promotional thing. And there is also a handwritten note from the author to Owl Crate subscribers, which is very cool. And man, does she have nice penmanship. Look look at that penmanship. So that is everything that came in April's Owl Crate. I will leave my personal link down below if you want to subscribe to Owl Crate. Click that link and it will give me a referral so that I can eventually start getting free boxes from them so I can continue to do these unboxings because it's getting a little expensive with the amount of books that I buy every single month. It's a lot. Um, so if you want to follow that link, I would greatly appreciate it. And as always, I hope you guys are reading some amazing books and I will see you next time.